and today we're going to start learning how to read the minute hand, hand on an analogue clock. If you haven't watched our last video on reading the hour hand, go back and watch that video first. We're going to start by looking at just the minute hand to understand o'clock and half past. Then we're going to look at quarter past and quarter two. If we put our minute hand on a circle split into quarters, we don't even need numbers to know if the time is o'clock or half past. If the minute hand is pointing up, it is o'clock, and if it is pointing down, it is half past. Let's look at this on an analogue clock. We're going to ignore the hour hand for now. We can see that if the minute hand is pointing up, showing o'clock, it is pointing at the 60, and when it is pointing down, it is showing half past, it is pointing at to the 30. We're now going to look at our clock showing the hour hand and our clock showing the minute hand side by side. If we look at our clock showing the hour hand first, we can see it is pointing exactly at the 4. Without even looking at the clock with the minute hand, we know it must be 4 o'clock. If we look at the minute hand, it is pointing straight up so we know it's definitely four o'clock. If we look at this on our clock with the two hands together, we start by looking at the hour hand first, which is pointing at the four, and then the minute hand, which is pointing at, up at the 12. This tells us it is four o'clock. Now we're going to look at half past. For our next one, again, we need to look at the hour hand first. We can see it is pointing halfway between the 7 and the 8. We know without looking at the minute hand that the time must be around half past 7. If we now look at the minute hand, it is pointing down or halfway round the clock. So this tells us the time is definitely half past 7. If we look at the two hands together on the clock, we start by looking at the hour hand, which is halfway between 7 and 8, and then the minute hand, which is pointing to the 30, so we know it must be half past 7. We can also work out when it is quarter past and quarter to using a clock with no numbers. If we look at our circle, the minute hand is quarter of the way round the circle, so it must be showing quarter past the hour. If we look at the clock showing the hour hand next to the clock showing the minute hand, we can see the hour hand is quarter of the way between the 10 and 11. So the hour we are on is 10. If we look at the minute hand, it is quarter of the way round the clock, so it is showing quarter past ten. We can see this with the two hands together. If we look at the hour hand first, it is just past after the ten. And the minute hand is pointing to the quarter past. So this time must be quarter past ten. The last one we're going to look at on this video is quarter two. If we look at our circle, we can see the minute hand is quarter to the top of the clock. This means it is showing quarter two. If we lift our hour hand first, we can see it is between five and six, but it is much closer to the six. This tells us the time is going to be something to six. If we lift our clock with the minute hand, we can see it is pointing at quarter two, so the time must be quarter to six. If we look at the two hands together, we start by looking at the hour hand, which is close to the six. If we then look at the minute hand, we can see it is quarter to six. Why don't you make two clocks like this and have a go yourself? Once you can work it out on two clocks, try looking at both hands on one clock. Next week we're going to be looking at how to tell the time to five minutes. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading a video with something new every week. 
See you soon. Bye.